Steve, you have everything in place for tomorrow? Yeah, everything's in place. We'll, we've got um, a session after this and um, we're prepared as we can be so far, which is going to be a, another tough game and yeah, we're ready to go. There's been quite a lot of speculation in terms of Robert Snodgrass. Is there any truth in that? Um, we spoke to. I've spoke to Robert. Yeah, I've spoke to him. Um, he's like we like we said from the very first day. We're only going to bring people in here that are going to enhance what we're doing and improve what we're doing. He's someone that we feel fits that. Um, obviously, still got a lot to offer on the pitch. We believe he'd be a big addition off the pitch as well. So we'll monitor that as we go. Provide a lot of experience, wouldn't it? He would, he would. He's mo he's more than that. Um, I know him personally. Um, I think he would enjoy his football here, uh, the way we want to do things and the environment that we're creating, the culture and stuff like that. He'll fit, he'll fit into to what we're trying to achieve. Um, so as I said, we'll we'll see how it goes. Including the reports on that one as well, Steve. You suggest that you could be in the market for another few players. Is that something that's going to be really helpful for you? I think we're we're always looking for players. We are. Um, what I would say is. The response we've had for the group in here has been excellent. It's been it's been it's been brilliant. It's something we said from day one. We need to see an improvement from the boys that we've got in here, and they've maybe seen me saying or putting out there, yeah, we need players. But you know, the the, the boys in here have given us absolutely everything, and even one or two that we thought maybe wouldn't be involved as much have really impressed. They've really come on. So yeah, are we going to still try and look to bring players in? Yes, but they need to be available, they need to make us better and they need to want to come here, you know, if they don't want to come here or we don't feel like they're going to improve what we've got or it's going to be a problem, then that's fine, that's fine, that's, that's, I'm absolutely fine with that. It was huge, it was, a, it was really positive, it was well deserved I thought in the game, um, we learned from it, we move on. There's no easy games in this this league at all. There's a lot of stuff we could do, we could have done better, and um, we need to improve on. Um, and again, this this game on Saturday is another very very tough game, and we've we've prepared as as best we can, and um, we know we need to be at our absolute best to get anything. How did you see that game going? It'll be tough. Um, without repeating myself, it's it's every every single week. It's going to be tough. There's not an easy game in this league. Home or away, there's not an easy game. I think we've already showed that this season. Um, we need to build on what we've done already. We need to do that and we need to put another perf positive performance in. That's the goal. A big motivation, obviously, to, to get the, the first points at, at home as well. To, to go from that here. Yeah, it is. It's just another chance to yeah, put another positive performance. Uh, points. Yep, yeah, have a good start. Um, obviously, the St Johnston game didn't go as planned. A, a home game that we want to do well at. We want to, you know, do well at home for sure. I think every team would say the same. Um, but again, um, it's going to be tough. You mentioned some players have maybe surprised you a wee bit or given you more change your opinion on them. Obviously, do you sense the the win at Aberdeen kind of almost the players more of a boost than they could have imagined. You know, going up there and playing so well, create so many chances as well. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of, like I said right at the start, there was a little bit of lack of confidence here at the at the club and the squad, uh, which we sensed, and we feel like we're, we're slowly making that better. We're nowhere near, nowhere near where we where we want to be, um, but we, I feel that I feel like the players are responding to what we're doing, they're gaining confidence, which which results in points breeds that, of course. So if we can keep that momentum going. Um, then hopefully we see the players that we've already got in the building build their confidence and improve and um, and we've already seen that with with a few of the, a few of the guys. David Martin, do you say that feels more of a different style of football? And do you say would you agree with that? Um, yes, I'd agree with that. I'd agree. Um, no matter who came in as the manager or at any club they'll be different, it's going to be different, you can't be exactly the same, Livingston are a good example of that, they're a good team, um, they've got a great togetherness, it's a different problem from before and then the week after will be a different problem, problem again, I think they're a mature group, they're a, they, they, they recruit and they bring people in to what they do and then, and I believe that's where their strengths are, you know, they're, they're a 
they're together and they're still team spirit. Um, so again, it's we, we're under no illusions how tough this is going to be. You said there are areas within their team you can take advantage of and help them in certain ways. Yeah, that, that has to be. That has to be, and that's that's the whole point of it. Um, the same, they'll see the same. The the they'll come here expecting to do well, same as us. And like I said, we've prepared as, as well as we can, and we're, and we're ready for it. Good result last weekend, hopefully win this weekend. How important is that to get a good run from the Yeah, a, a good start, it's important. I think I, I touched on it before that whenever I've had a, a, a decent or a positive season, which has been based on good foundations, even last year, it was it was a good start that, that mainly got us to where we ended up finishing in the league. So it's not the be all and end all, but it is very important. Just go back to, to Robert. Is it that a deal you think you can get done this weekend, or is it further along the line? Um, well, not sure. Uh, to be totally honest, um, we have spoke a few times, and we'll see how it plays out. I don't. Um, hopefully, but we don't know yet. And for yourself, having this another week of training under your belt with the team, how how much do you think that has helped you? It's helped. We're always progressing. We're always looking to improve. You know, we won last week and we're, we're still looking at a lot of th stuff. Even just now, this morning, we've been looking at stuff we can do better. Um, we'll improve as time goes. Um, hopefully we see that progression on the pitch. I mean, there's no point in working hard and doing everything we're doing and then on Saturday we don't bring that to the table. So that's vitally important. But um, as I said, we're, we're, we're quietly progressing the way we want, physically, tactically, we're getting better. So... These are early signs, but that's all it is just now.